Hi, Sim from Launch Presto Digital Marketing. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to import Google Analytics for events into Google Ads. So firstly, why would you want to import events from Google Analytics into Google Ads in the first place? Now, the main reason is you might have set up an event in Google Analytics for that's being tracked in that platform that you want to be able to bring across into your Google Ads and monitor that and track conversions, your ROI within that platform. Particularly if you're sending traffic to a landing page or a product page, and you want to track the leads or the purchases within those campaigns. And another reason why you want to import those events into your Google ads is purely for observation purposes. And that's what I mainly do with my clients' accounts or my own accounts is because I prefer to use Google tag manager or the Google ads conversion tag to ensure that I'm getting proper attribution and having those Google analytics events in the Google ads account helps me ensure that my primary conversions are being optimized and not broken. I'll cover that more in the video. And in addition to that, I'll also cover something very important that you need to take note of when using Google Analytics for events in Google Ads. And I'll touch on that point a little later on in the video. And before I take over my screen and show you how to import those key events into Google Ads, if you are having trouble with your conversion tracking and you're struggling to work out how to fix it, or if you're looking to maximize your Google Ads and position it to scale, please reach out to me in the link in the description or in the pinned comment below. Fill out the contact form on the homepage and I'll get in touch with you there as soon as I possibly can. And with that said, let me take over to my screen now. And here we are in my test Google Ads account, which I usually use for my test Shopify store, cheapcampinggear.net. The first thing you need to do is check that your Google Analytics 4 or GA4, which I'll refer to it from now on, is integrated in your Google Ads account. So if you come over to the left hand side and click tools, and then scroll down to where it says data manager, my GA4 account has already been connected, but you can come to manage and link, and we can see that it's linked here. And just to double check, I can click manage, and then just check that link properties are matching in terms of that and our Google Analytics accounts. We can see here they have the same account numbers, which is good. Also, what's equally important is to toggle on the importing the Apple web metrics and data. And as you're going to be actively marketing through your Google Ads platform, you do want to toggle on import Google Analytics audiences. I do show how to link these two properties together in this video up here. So take a look at that a little bit later on. Now you can save that. Then next, come to your Google Analytics account. And then what you need to do is come down to the left-hand side, click admin. And again, you can double check if these accounts are linked together from here. Clicking on the Google Ad links, and we can see that we are linked here. And you can go a little bit deeper, see what's going on to see that they are indeed connected. And then I always check on enable personalized advertising, if that does fit your privacy policy, we just exit out of that. And then next, just, I want to take you over to the report side of Google analytics and take a look at the engagements here and the events. And we can see this is where our, all our events lie. However, these are just events in order to be able to import events into Google ads, they need to be key events. So to ensure that you've converted any of these events into key events, come back down to the admin area again. Scroll down under data display and select events. And then we can see all the events that we have set up here. Now, although now although I'm running an e-commerce store, I haven't set up the events for the e-commerce store yet, but we integrate it with a plugin. I'm going to use the form submit as an example in this case. So I'll come over here to the right hand side under mark as key event. I'll toggle that on to mark as a key event. And that now should be available in Google ads. So coming back to the Google ads account now. Come over to goals and select summary, and then come to this blue plus button where it says create conversion action. So we'll click that. And then under start tracking conversions, we have four options that we can choose from. We can see here on the tile on the far right hand side, it says import data from Google analytics or another sort. As we hover over there, we see the other sources that we can import from. So we'll click on that. Scrolling down a bit further, we have the options again. We'll click the radial button for our Google analytics four properties, and then we click continue. And even though we've marked this as a key event, it can take up to 24 hours for the data to start streaming through and making that key event available to be imported into the Google ads account. If you come into product links real quick, it says under here under Google ads linking, when you click inside that it does mention, it can take up to that 24 hours as I was mentioning. So for the sake of time, I'm taking one of my client accounts where I do have key events available to import in. So. Now we can come to the create conversion action button, click on that. And there seems to be an updated version of Google ads as of the date of this video. 
as we scroll down, it looks a little bit more cleaner, a bit more user-friendly, asking what conversions do we want to measure? Previously, we already set up the Google Analytics account for this client. However, you can always edit that here, should you wish, where some of the new features can actually scan through your website and determine what would you like to measure. But I'll cover that in a video for another day. For now, I'm going to stick with the Google Analytics for the purpose of this video. We've select continue. Now, ask us, what do we, again, what do we want to measure? We have all the different conversion categories that we can pick from, purchase, qualified lead, et cetera, et cetera. And if there's more, you can select see all. And in today's video for this client, I'm going to set up a sign up. Now, it may have some suggestions here on some conversion actions that you may want to track. So, for example, if I was to add another conversion category and I was to take a quick look at submit a form, we can see here, this is the option that we do have. And in this new version of Google Ads, you can set up multiple conversion actions at once instead of one at a time, which is great. However, we've been covering this off in this video, so I will just quickly exit out of this. This is the only unuser-friendly part about the Google Ads conversion actions is it takes you back to the summary screen, so we have to start again. Quickly moving through again to the sign up conversion category. So we'll add in that action, select the web option here for the website. And we're going to be adding in the pop-up form submit. And then we click save and continue. Okay. From here, when it finish up the settings for the conversions, now we're setting this up using the Google tag and event tags, which has already been put in place. Just confirming again that we're measuring that individual conversion with the event snippet and it's the pop-up form again. Then you may want to check if your Google click ID is working. So you're not missing out on any conversion data, click finish. And then we can scroll down from here and we can see under sign up that the conversion action for the pop-up form submission has been added. Now, as this is an e-commerce store, we already have one primary conversion here under purchase. So if we have two primaries, it's also going to count any pop-up form submission as a conversion as well, which can skew your data in the overview screen. You can segment it and break it down later on, but just to make sure that this is not a primary goal, we only want to have it in as an observation. It's coming to edit goal. And just another little quick tip, you just want to ensure that if you're not wanting to intend any signups to be account level defaults, you may want to check your do not use signups as an account default goal. Under this drop down here, it says primary action. We can then select it as a secondary action for observing only, then we'll save the changes. However, if you are importing any key events from Google Analytics into Google Ads and you are wanting to use them for primary conversions at either campaign or account default level and use that as your main tracking source, particularly with purchase conversions, there's something really important that you need to know. So just take over quickly to this article about creating conversions in Google Ads based on Google Analytics key events. Although the data is improving for smart bidding strategies in terms of Google Analytics 4, there's a few other factors that aren't being tracked or into Google Ads. If I click this drop down here, we can see that in order to see cross device conversions in Google Ads, you need to turn your Google signals on for your GA4 property. So make sure you go back into your account and do that. But the most important one is that you will not see any view through conversions if you import conversions from analytics, because you have to use the native Google ads tracking in order to be able to see that data. Now, Google may improve that in the future, but right now it's definitely not available. So if you're running campaign types like display, those are the ads that pop up like banners on websites. If a user so happens to see that ad, but then goes directly to your website and makes a purchase, that will not be counted as a view through conversion. Now that data may be important to you. It may not be. But if display ads make up an important part of the Google ads strategy, it's something you may want to consider. And with that said, that's how you import Google ads key events from Google Analytics 4 into Google ads. And before I go, I'll just mention one more time that if you are having issues with your Google Analytics 4 or your conversion action in the Google ads, please reach out to me in the link in the description or in the first comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and see how I can help. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye for now.